Okay, so this demonstration is part two to the other one using Update VV. Um, so I've cleaned up the snapshots. We can see that the three primary volumes are still here, and then they're still exported to the host, and the data is still in there. All I did was go in and delete the snapshots. Okay, so now we're going to create three additional volumes. Uh, these will be the full copy volumes, and then when we create the physical copy, we'll leave a linked uh, read write or sorry read only snapshot in between. Uh, we're not going to be creating that snapshot, it's just part of the, the process of cloning. So the first step is just to create, like we did before, now we need to create three uh, additional uh, VVs. So create VV, TP VV, um, the same CPG is fine, I'll read one, and then uh, just give it a name like um, 3PJ um, underscore one. And uh, size it has to be the same size 10 gig okay and we'll do two and three and like before we need to create the um, copy space um, because we're doing this in the command line so oops so we got to do um, set vv and then i'm just going to put it in the same um, cpg like i did the last time so snap cpg and then uh, SSD create one, and then I can specify all the VV names. So 3PJ underscore one, 3PJ underscore two, 3PJ underscore three. Okay, so now copy space has been created for them. And then I can go ahead and put those in a set as well. So we can do create, um, uh, do I want to do a set? I, I don't think it really matters, but let's do it anyway. Uh, so create uh, VV set 3PJ. Um, what do we need the last one? So VV set set one. Okay, so we're going to do um, create VV set um, 3PJ set two. And then I can specify all the volumes that are going to be in there. So 3PJ1, 3PJ2, 3PJ3. All right, so VV set. And we have both sets here. OK. So now we just need to create the physical copies. So we'll do um, create uh, VV copy. Uh, SP. I'm going to leave it linked here. Um, and then we can use the sets in this case. So I'm going to use this one as the primary. And then we'll say synchronize with this one as the physical copy. And I think that's it. Yeah, all right. So those are being synced right now. So let's do show VV. And here we can see, well, previously when I logged in, we only had the three images, right? The three original volumes, rather. And now we have the primary uh, volume, and it takes this read-only snapshot, read-only snapshot in between, and then here's the secondary or the physical copy, right? P copy of that, and it's currently in read-write mode because it's copying. Um, so let's do show task, and it's done. Okay, so show VV. And here we go, and there's the linked, this is the linked snapshot, this one right here. All right, now you, you don't really modify this one, it just keeps these two uh, linked together. Um, now, you're not gonna be able to export the physical copy though. Um, to show you that, we'll say create uh, VLUN, um, this should fail, create VLUN set, what do they call that? Uh, set two, right? 3PJ set two. And then auto, um, and then three, auto, and then DL, that's it, 380G73. And because it's a target of a physical copy, it can't be exported. So what you can do is you can take Again, like we did before, you can take a snapshot of this physical copy and then always sync 
the snapshot to the physical copy. You can also resync this physical copy here back to the original physical copy. Now there's many different use cases of why you would want to do that. You could always have this as your primary volume and then this as a, you know, a backup, but then export this so you can buy a snapshot so you can modify things or so you can, you know, actually mount it and go in and verify stuff, run reports on it, whatever. And then if something happens to this one, then you can promote this one to um, your base volume if you wanted. Um, and then after a while, you know, just having the ability to sync these two so that they stay um, you know, relatively close together. Like, you know, every night or whatever, you run a sync on these two and then update your snapshots. Okay, so let's do the, uh, let's create the snapshot first uh, of the, um, the new set, the set two. So we'll do create SV, just like we did before. Create SV, and then I'll do read write like last time, uh, BB name, and then uh, set, and it was uh, 3PJ set two. I think that was right. Yeah, okay. So now if we do show VV, we can see the primary volume, the read-only linked uh, reference, the physical copy, and then the snapshot that we just took, the read-write here, all right? And again, I can put that read-write into a uh, volume set. So we'll say create VV set, uh, read-write underscore 3PJ set two, uh, is that what I want to do, set two, yeah, it's set two, this guy. Um, and then, do I do it, uh, create VV set, set two, yeah, and then the volume's here, this guy, this guy, and this guy. Okay, so we do show VV set, we should have three sets here, here's the primary volume, the clone, link clone, and then the rewrite snapshots that we can export to our host. So now we'll export these to this guy. All right, so just like we did before, create VLUN, set uh, this set, auto, uh, DL380G7 underscore zero three. All right, and then we can go back here. We'll scan it. We'll see the snapshots show up. Oh man, dang it. I got bounced off of this. Okay, let me reconnect here. One second. Okay, and we can see that we've got some volumes that started to pop in, right? So let's just go ahead and scan those again, just to make sure here. Okay, so these are, um, we've taken a physical copy and we've taken a snapshot of those and we're presenting it to the host. So we should just have to online these. These are the snapshots. Okay, so now let's go to the volumes. And we can see here, you know, we can clearly see, right? So there's two in that one. So this is VV1. That's VV1, snapshot of VV1. Here's two, snapshot of VV2, three, snapshot of VV3. Okay, so in F, G, and H, the primary volumes will add some more data. So let's say uh, something new. How about these files? Well, that's too small. Cancel. Oh, I'll just copy this again. Wait, this is in, I need that one. The primary volumes. Okay. Copy. We'll do paste. 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 Okay, and then in two, we'll do copy, paste, paste. And then the primary three, copy, 
paste. Okay. So we got, yeah, more data. All right, and I'll just put some other f random files in here so we can see it. Okay, so now I've just added more data to the primary volumes. And then over here, uh, we just need to update the, oh, let me see, uh, show user ACL. Yep, that should be fine. Okay, um, so now we need to resync the um, physical copy clones, the link clones, back to the primary volumes. So we can do um, uh, create bb copy dash r to resync set and then this set name. Okay, so now it's resyncing the set to the um, back to the primary. So task. One of them's active, just waiting for that to finish. We put a lot more data in the first volume anyway. Okay, so now they're done. And then we just, like before, update our snapshot. So um, create, uh, what's that I'm gonna do? No, update, sorry. Update VV, I'm gonna force it so it doesn't prompt me for yes. Um, set, and then read, write, did I call that? 3PJ set to. That. Update BV for set. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so now it's updating the BVs. We go back to Windows and it's going to drop those offline again. Let me rescan. Okay, so here they're offline, and then we just need to online them. And again, with Linux, you just have to rescan it. Okay, so now we can go back to here, and if we look at one, we've got these files, and we look at the snapshot for one, same files, two, and the snapshot for two, same files, three, snapshot, three, there we go. So now we've created uh, physical copies, show VV. So we've got the primary volumes. There is a linked clone. And then we have our clone. And then a snapshot of the clone. And we are able to resync the linked clone to the primary volume and then update the snap that we're exporting to the linked clone. Okay, uh, and I think we, yeah, we did it. Okay, so that's, uh, that's all there is to it. That's using update VV. So good luck.